Hello all, so we are going to start our Vue.js journey by creating this small Vue.js app. So here what we have this, so it is not the app, the, it is not what many functionality, but it is, it is what we do in Vue.js, that is the main thing. But then also we are going to create this small app in which uh, we have this uh, uh, resources and this add resources and in the resources will show the list of all the resources. Here you can see this uh, view resources and it will go uh, take you to the place. Okay. And uh, I can do the add resource also add resource maybe angular learn angular i think angular.com maybe i don't know angular.com maybe i'll add the resource okay please enter a url okay i think let me search angular i think it okay angular.io is the correct thing let me go here and put the angular.io add resource and add resource is done now it is there and i can uh, view the resource and it is opening and uh, okay so that is there and i can also delete this thing delete this thing and delete this thing so it is like it's uh, like this it is there so this is a small app which we are going to build so and in the process we will start our vue.js journey so i will close this thing and i will like in my desktop also i have a very very basic uh, boilerplate code i have so i will also explain what is this like the vue.js and i mainly i am uh, very much compatible with uh, react.js and a lot compatible with angular.js and uh, but more in react.js than in angular but i know both and vue.js is actually a mixture of both of them react and angular okay so because the creator he used to work in uh, google in an angular project and he liked a lot of react things and he mixed them both so it has got the best of both of the worlds so it is easier for a person who is from this uh, um uh, react or angular background so that is there and i have worked the least on the vue.js like i have worked most on react most on react just then on angular just i'm talking about production project and then on vue.js so it is like that so let's get started and uh so we have some basic boilerplate code we have and uh, after this uh you'll find this in the description somewhere okay so this i have uh, done it in the desktop and then what i'm going to do i will install all the packages i will tell about the packages and all npm i i will do or you can create through the official way like vue.js documentation is also very good okay you can create it through the official way so i will also do vue.js okay so vue.js you can see this vue.js the documentation uh get started and uh what is vue.js and vue.js you can like uh, directly also use in your app and all so that is there and uh, blah, 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 and all those things. And UGS has gone through some uh, changes as well as everything goes through some changes. And they have got some uh, other ways also uh, to like uh, a composition API and all those things are getting changed there. Okay. So, but the main thing is there, it is like Angular, the HTML CSS and JavaScript. You mostly write it in one file. Okay, you can create it in different files. So like it is the separate. So it's a bit starting point. You'll find a lot like Angular, but a lot of concepts are taken from React. So and can create uh, Vue.js latest also. You can do, and, but you have to do a lot of things like this. So that's why I've given this boilerplate code, which is like good to start. Okay, so that is there. So it is done. And I is done. And then I have already opened this on VS Code, so I don't have to do the code dot. And then the command. So the command. What is this command? Command is serve. So it means the command to start is serve, and it has all the dependency. View just three. It is using dev dependencies are there. So I will do npm run serve. I will do npm run serve. Okay. So yeah, it will start at uh, localhost 8080, which is totally different for than our familiar React 3000. Okay so okay not like this i will go local host 8080 okay so localhost 8080 i've opened there is nothing there because uh, do i have some error i don't have any error okay so local host 8080 because so let's get started our uh, views is as with react also it start with some index or js but it start with this main dot js okay it is mounting something okay it is mounting something but actually it is uh, it have to mount something right now it is not mounting anything so 
bit of concept i will also tell the concept is taken from where this is the react js concept react is also start like this okay uh i want to tell one more thing here okay so that is this concept is totally picked up from react js so index of js you will go here you'll see this uh div with id of app just like in react js we have then you will go to this main.js here i'm mounting this thing again this is a react js concept okay so some of the things are taken from react js and everything is open source it is not like uh, cheating or something no everything is open source everybody can take anything from anywhere so like this src okay so the src is there src we will start okay src we will have to create something like i've related everything app dot v u e view okay view because view files are ends with v u e view okay so it is like that and then let us uh, uh let us add uh, something like see again so the first part it is similar to react okay. so now you see in the second part how to create the file it is similar to angular so i will have a template okay just like an angular i have a template that's we have a ul here okay template and then the scripts uh, script will be like this and a script will be export the default export default uh, like this and uh, data and like this okay so data in data uh is a property which you write in here and data can have all the data like uh whatever like it's a script okay so uh, just like a javascript okay. you can have some different things here so whatever you want you can have it here so and return and here i will have a something known as a sto rad uh, yes, so you are see, stored resources. So we are not doing some API call or something, everything will come from the link here only stored resources. Then I will have a uh, like this, and ID is view guide. Okay, so like this, ID will be there. The ID and the title is view guide description is the official view dot js view right and link let us give the right link link is https view js dot org okay so like this uh, I have the Google Google Learn to Google and Google dot com. So Google dot com we have written okay, so like this uh, array of object is there which is known as a stored resources now uh, we need to show this thing okay so how we are going to show this thing so here we are going to create one more file okay so one more file so again a bit you see a, again a bit of like a react just thing it will come okay, i'll close these two things especially in days of testing it is not required that much so i will uh, create a components folder inside the src again like react just i'm going to create a components folder but it's all up to you where do you want to create and all those things so here the i will create a r e s o u r c resource list dot view so this is, see one more thing is important the main it is a main dot js not a view okay so the starting is like this main dot js so um like uh i've created this thing now we will come back to this file okay so uh let's first create this file or it will say that okay the file is not there so i will have a template okay so it's not auto completing 
PEM, PLAT, because I am using setup for React template and ally will the ally complete your ally will complete div because I have some uh, something for this also. When I was started with Vue, it asked me to install something for Vue, I think. Yeah, so Vue language support, you need to, okay. Uh, one more thing, there are two, three Vue language support. The Volar one, you have, to, you have to install. It is the latest one. I think it will recommend also. VS Code is now intelligent enough. It recommends if you start using something new, it will recommend. And it will recommend this thing. Because the div is there. And then I will have a header. Header I will have, and then a H3 i will have and here okay so here's how do i want to show something again this is angular it is called string interpolation so i will i will pass this thing and i'll show it okay with the title then i will have a button known as b e l e t lead then after this div i will have a p des description i will have and then again this is something which we are going to get and then a nav i will have a nav anchor tag okay uh so this nav will have this uh, view r e s o u plus e s okay so now in views you need to bind something some of the properties like h uh, href i cannot directly <laughs> this will also come from here like uh, this link will also come from here you're going to see how we it is going to come but the thing is that this is something which you need to bind it like uh so you have to do this thing okay and then colon and href it's belong to something like uh we bind so not uh, don't go for this v behind and so this is a shortcut okay so link you'll do like this and then it is anyways giving me error so it is uh, mm, like it will give this error and all because we are not like uh, written it in the script okay so i'll go here in the script and then here i have to do a export default export default always in the script you have to do if you go here i have done the export default here also mm -hmm. and here these are the props which are getting passed which are getting passed so you have to mention also this thing these are the props which are getting passed and first one is title second one is description third one is link okay title description and link and now we have to pass this also so we'll go back to the app.js because app.js will call this resources again like react or angular so we may have, we have to component ways things okay so in default i will go and do a components components i'll do and here i'll do a and so you are c resource this so this component is this resource list after this there will be a comma and this component we have to import okay so here inside this script only we have to use the import command here like this okay so resource list okay so it is giving me everything this was list from uh component um resource list okay so we we are doing it from here save it now. <coughs> okay save it now uh, the thing is that why it is uh like uh, uh we also have to now call it we have to call it like we have nothing we are not calling it so we have to call it so how we call it so we call it you uh, inside the ul only i'm going to call it later on we're going to style it also so resource list you can like in view what happens like you can call it like this only uh like in the react but generally people prefer to use uh what it is known as i think it is known as a snake case resource although you write components as a resource list like camel case uh no, no it, is, it is the pascal case so first one is capital so but i will write i can write it like this okay so generally people prefer to do like this okay yeah. in this uh, view js world okay so now we'll come here resource list mm -hmm. now we have an array so what we have to do here it direct to the array again a react js concept so we have to do a v for equal to rest in stored 
resources totally angular concept okay so then Uh, less can be anything okay that can be anything totally and angular concept v4 you can do and then key i'm binding it key equal to res dot id okay. so no it is not it is inside it then title equal to res dot title description equal to res dot description and link equal to res dot link like this you have to do okay yeah i'm binding it and like uh, we are sending this all this thing key is anyways it is again a react concept like key unique key you have to give so but see react and it's a combination of everything so this v4 is again angular and like this you're passing okay so those things are there but still something another thing is wrong because the main.js we have not yet added the app so here we have to add the app so here i will write the app and then import app from App dot I think they are in the same folder. No, no, I think yeah, same level. Okay, that is the thing I which I was thinking. Inside the, yeah, they're in the same. Okay, I'll see it. And see, we are seeing this thing. We're seeing the main data. So it is calling this app dot view app dot view is passing all these things like uh with the v4 because we are looping through it through there okay so that is there okay so now we will move forward and uh add some styles because it is not looking good so add some styles so for that what we do generally in view just uh after the script or anyways um like before this also we can do it but generally people do it after it so we will have a Sty and style tag like this. Inside this, we put the styles. Okay, so one sec. So let me have some uh, some uh, basic styles here. So why to write that thing? Because it is not a CSS course. This is what everybody says. Okay, so and I'm also saying this thing. So like this box sizing border box HTML pop is I'm using pop is and body and all I have doing. So I'll save it see the moment i did it it changed it changed okay so it changed completely so that is there now the next thing uh which uh, we will do is uh, okay one more thing to tell you is that style like this uh it can be used like it is like a global style okay so uh, this will be used in all the files and uh, it is also dangerous also because if something like if i give a h1 generic h1 it will be going everywhere CSS is always a problem and that problem is solved in views in a very good way so what has happened i have to give some style in the resource list also so i'll go to that here i'll do a style. style. but if i write the styles inside it it will again be global so i can write something here known as scopd only only this much you have to do this is something which i like very much a scope you have to do and it will be scoped it will be only here nowhere else it will be nowhere else okay so i will go to this uh components okay so one sec so uh, again i don't want to write uh, all the styles and all so it's a uh, okay resource list my resource list is a ally okay so, so resource list is uh, ally. Okay, so I will have everything like uh, whatever there in this. So I will have a uh, ally. Anyways, the source code will be there. You can get it from here. Ally. I am giving something header. I am giving a uh, flex and all. So that is I am giving in this header. Uh, then. 
I have this uh, P H three P A. Okay, I can take S three P A also because it is here only. It cannot go outside. So this is very dangerous to take S three P A in a React JS project or in a HTML CSS project because it would be global. But it is not global here. It is only in this. So this is something which is very good here. So H three and all these things will be here. I'll save it and see. The moment I do it, uh, some styles are being done. Okay. So that is uh, there. Now uh, from the resource list we will uh actually we will move all of these things this logic to a resource item file so this is generally how we work like in react also you have a list and then we send everything to a item so that is something which we are going to do all of these things will move to a resource item so i will come here and create a new file called resource item dot view in resource item dot view main let me close this main so uh, this resource item dot view i have done and now this resource item dot view uh, will actually contain uh, like uh, okay Okay, so this uh, resource item dot uh, view we will so we will move all of this thing as i have told uh, we will move all of this thing there so it's better to do a control a and uh, control x and i will move everything here okay so this is script and all everything i will move it here so yeah so i've just done this thing nothing will be shown right now so now i will go back to the resource list and resource list i will have a template and template uh, i will have a ul unordered list and inside this unordered list i will show the resource item okay so even before that let us do one more thing here is that a script i'll do script and then import resource item from like this okay i'll do and then export default export default props and uh, props will be resources and the second in export default so props is there and the, the other thing is that we have to do the components also components will be resource item component will be resource item and uh, because we have imported this thing resource item and then this resource item i will create it in the uh your what is it is called snake say i forgot always what it is called resource item i will call and then okay uh so one more thing here like this uh, props i am getting this resources from where i am get this resources from app.js i will get but i have not uh, created the logic yet uh, for that we'll create it soon okay? after this we are going to create again okay? so this resource item is there and i will get a props called resources here okay? a props called resources which we are soon going to pass okay soon going to pass from the app.js so this is the complete flow we are refactoring because earlier code was also working v for i will do v for equal to rest in r e s o u r resources is the array and then key is equal to rest dot id okay so all these things id title description and link and i have done this okay no problem and this is known as binding okay so i am using this colon because it is this is known as binding res dot title then description is equal to res dot description and link is equal to 
res dot link okay. res dot link so i'm passing it like this and we saw item and all these things are there and then no, anyways it will give me error so it go back from the app.js we have to now call this resource uh, list uh, we were earlier like uh, calling it uh, mm, like this okay so we were uh, passing all these things now uh, we are going to call we are not going to okay, i should have copied this thing okay so i my bad i have written it again i should, should have copied it so resource list now will go in a different way so i i will not do the v4 or something i will pass the whole array here which is known as so this is how you pass okay this is how you pass props you seen this earlier also resources i will pass is equal to what is the name here it is known as stored resources let me have it okay so like this i'll do it and save it okay what is it resource list dot view 420 rs okay it is not rs it is res so that's a good error to catch okay now everything is uh, refactored and everything is uh, looking as user so i have passing the data from app app to resource list uh, the whole array i'm passing the whole array here as a props i am passing the whole array as a props i'm receiving it here as a props and then i'm sending it uh, here to the item so it will be called uh, three times okay so it will be called three times now uh one more thing we are going to do here is that uh we are going to create a new file called now inside the components i'll create a new file called base card dot view again we are refactoring mm -hmm. and we are making a common component here okay base card dot view mm -hmm. then we'll have a tem plat template template will have a div template will have a div okay and uh, we are introducing a new thing here style is seo pd scoped okay so let me uh one sec let me get the style okay anyways i don't want to write these styles okay so this will be there and uh, div uh, div is there which we are styling and one more new concept uh, we are going to have we are going to have here something known as a slot slot we will not show you you'll soon see what is this slot and how it is used so slot is something which is okay, it's showing zero reference slot is something in which we can pass uh, another component okay it is like children props okay uh let me go back it is like children props what i'm talking it is like children props in react okay in react i'm a react guy i like do everything with react okay so so i will take the things like reference from react only okay so that is there and the base card what i'm doing i'm like passing a slot so now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this ally and in this ally instead of this div which i have i will uh, have this uh, base card so now i get you're getting so in base card it is expecting something like a slot which is this which is this children which are this all of this children okay so why it is not it's like oh i think we have done something wrong base card okay so what is there this base card should be yeah okay so now it is right okay everything should be inside the base card so i have done in the base card but this base card and uh, where we should call it okay where we should call it. should we call it here we can call it here also okay like the components and all but we are not going to call it here why we are not going to call it here because base card is a component which can be used in many other components so if you have something which can be which is reusable like base card is something like which would give a nice uh, uh, style for the card okay so it can be used in many different cards so what i'm going to do here is this i am going to go to the main.js and call it from there okay so i will call the import base card import base card 
from components base card dot view and then we are going to control c const app equal to this thing i'll do and then just play refactoring a bit app dot because i wanted to do like this okay so app dot mount i'm doing but uh, where where i'm using the base card so i'm using the base card with app dot component is base card comma base card base card comma base card same so see now we have this nice styles nice styles we have okay so okay is this coming Okay. resource list ul okay so i think i missed something in the resource list also we need to have some styles uh, yeah uh i have not i have missed this thing so let us have some styles also in the resource list so we have a ul only here so i will have a yes now now it is that uh list style is none is gone and all those things are there it is nice much better so that is there now now we will do another thing okay so we will have a, a layout also which will have a title which will be shown in every places so we will have uh, we'll go base card i can close it because it is not it will not be shown that much maybe have dot view okay i'll close everything let's me have the main only so i have created a new component so i'll go to the components and i will create the the header dot view the header dot view i have done now here i'll do a tmp lat template and header i will have and then h1 i will have and then title title i will have now these things i am having now i will have a s c r i t t strip and then export default e r of these props and Title will be there, and then okay. So then we will have uh, some styles, okay. Okay, okay so header and uh, header H1. So, um, although it is not required because we have a, a scope, so it is not required. So, to have header H1, so it's okay. So we have this uh, nice uh, header styles and all. So in the next thing which we are going to do, we want to show the header. Okay, so now we will open the app.js file because we're going to show the header here. It is not, it will not be shown like in everything. App.js is anyways the main thing. So I will come to this resource list and do a comma and the header I'll do and then I'll do a <coughs> M for the header, yeah. So the header I'm putting now. What I'm going to do here? I'm going to after this resource list, I will call the the header. And one more thing, we can also call it like directly, like okay. So I, I want to show that way also, just like a react. React we call most of the time like this. Okay, so we can do this thing here also. So here I will pass the title equal to so it is going out basic view app basic view app i will so that title which i am expecting it here so that is something which is coming so i will save it 
and see the basic view app it is shown okay something is missing Okay. Okay, it is hundred percent office. It is okay. App uh, let me see like uh one sec. So let me see in app if something is uh, there which I missed. Uh no, I have not uh, missed anything. So, why this is showing like this? Why I have a UL here in the app.js? Why do I have a UL? Well, that was I was thinking. Why do I have a UL? Here in the app.js, there is no ul in the app.js. Ul should be in that uh, resource list. Okay, so I think I forgot to remove it. So that's why it is trying. So this is how you can even fix the style issues. So now it is like completely up. So that that was my mistake to show this thing there. Now the this is done. Now we will show a nice button again. It will be something which we are going to create as a general component. Okay, so and again we're going to add it in the main.js. So I'm going to go here in the components and I will do a base button dot view base button dot view and I will have a template like this and then I will have a button. And this button will take a slot. Slot as I told slots are children. So means when we have to call this thing, we have to pass something like uh, inside that. Okay. So you'll see how how this slots will be called. So slots is there and it will have a type of type and class of mode and then <coughs> i will have a script export default props type comma mode and then We'll have some styles here so let us have some styles so again i will copy paste the styles okay so like this uh, i have copy pasted the styles of the button and all those things so our button will be nicer so that is there now uh, again as i told we are going to import it here okay so <coughs> import base button from components this button dot view and here again app dot component base button and this base button so i have to import it like this so i have imported it now i have not used it but so where i am going to use this base button not in the app dot view but whatever is showing this thing and what is showing this thing this thing has been shown by the this item so base um, resource item so resource item has a ugly button so as i have told like uh, we have a slot here so means uh, we have to call it like whatever you pass it here inside it will be with this slot will be there okay and uh, uh, the type of that type is also something which you can pass our uh, type is type and uh, the class is mode okay so we'll see this thing also so a uh, base on this like uh, this is something which is like very important we are going to see this thing 
now uh, i'm going to go here and uh, do a base button okay we don't have to import it or anything because we already done in the main register so i will so we just know okay so we are using this base button so i will use this base button see now we are getting this nice blue button okay so the nice blue button we are going to do what is this flat and all i'm going to tell what is this flat and all okay so <clears throat> now one more thing is there see we have this uh, uh mode is also there so mode is there okay so mode is also a props which it is expecting type is also something which you can pass i'm not passing and whatever the mode you will pass it will become the class okay so it will become the class so what mode i have i have a flat so this is how you can change the styles also so i'll do a mode equal to f l a t flat i'll save it see now the button styles have been different because this one is applying mode equal to flat class equal to mode if you don't give it will take the normal one or else it will take this one okay so now the styles are changed so you can use a same different kind of a button totally opposite kind of a button you can use and this is how you can use like this css thing this is sometimes very difficult to achieve in html and react also we have to do a lot of ternary operator and all these things to achieve this thing okay so that is there now uh we will uh create uh, the like uh, in the final uh, final app you might have seen so we have this some uh, thing known as a add resource also so we have to create that thing the base button resource item and close maybe the app that we also have close and then <coughs> we'll go here and in the components i will create a add resource or view and the r e s o u r c e s dot view the resources dot view i will get and add resource is there and here i'll have a template and uh, just have h2 here and add resource h2 and add resource i will do and then in this the resource again i will have a template and here i will have a okay. so uh, here i will first uh, have this uh, base card which we have already created base card so we are reusing this thing okay. base card then we will also going to reuse the base button base button call it two times first one will be resources second one will be add resource and uh, okay so uh, let us also quickly create the script also first script and in this script i will have a export default and components and resource list comma add resource URCE. So this add resource and the resource list we are calling, and even we are, we will have to import it. So I will do a import resource list resource list from resource list from view, and then import add resource okay, so it is showing like this that is good mm, so formatting is also there okay so formatting is also there so now these two things i'm calling and uh, the other thing is that i will have a data like this and then i'll have a here return okay so in return uh, i will data we can give the data so i'll have a select that 
tab so i'm going to use this selective tab will be r-e-s-o-u-r-c resource list so this is the component resource list and again one more new thing we can have uh, methods also inside uh, your uh, view okay so methods are again method method mean functions so we're not going to write everything here so methods if you need functions you have to write it like this methods there's another way new way in view 3 which we have will discuss maybe later on so methods are there so set but everything is backward compatible nowadays okay set c like tab and there will be tab set selected tab and there will be tab and then there will be this again so if you have a function we have this concept of this again here which is the javascript concept and something you will fear this a lot say this dot selected tab equal to tab i will have this and this is selected tab equal to tab i will have now okay so now it is time to use these things okay so now what uh, we are going to do this methods in this method is known as a selected tab method okay so now this base button we are going to add something so base button i'm going to add a add click so this is how the click handlers are there in view yes add click i will call the set selected tab method and what i will pass here i'll pass here we so you are see resource list resource list i'm going to pass and here the second one add resources i will pass the add resource add resource i am going to pass because add resource and resource list are two different components we open this also so resource list is the one which we have created earlier so add resource add resource doesn't have many things right now we soon have a lot of things okay so we are actually creating the like um, header like it will open this thing uh add click it will call this add resources and all but how it will call not done that thing it will call through something known as a component okay component is again a very much usual thing and then is equal to selected tab and selected tab by default it is resource list because by default it will be there so selected tab will keep on changing save it okay save it and now we have saved it and all but we are not we are not using it anyway so we'll go to the main dot js not the main dot js but the main starting point is this app dot js in this app dot js will not call this uh, resource list from here okay so we'll remove this thing not call this resource list from here i'll remove this thing and instead of the resource list i'll call the the r e s o u r c yes the resources import the resources the resources is imported and then i will go here and do the the r e s o u r c s the resources and the resources i am calling the resources and save it now see i am getting this thing okay the resources and uh, one more thing i will have to okay the resources we have done so in this uh, resource list one more thing we have to do is this now it is not showing correctly this uh, data and all so this data and all uh, i'll cut this data from here okay cut this data from here so it will be only this much and this data i will add in this the resources okay the resources i'll add this data so this uh, selected tab is there which is by default is a resource list and comma you get the return also so let me remove this return okay now it is okay So data 
where it is. Oh, I don't need the data also. My bad. Okay, so selected tab is there and the uh, stored resources is there. So both of the things are there and the method is there. So these two things are there. And uh, one more thing like uh, we need to do here is that uh, in this kind of a thing, like it is uh, calling through this component. Okay, so the resource list and all it is calling through the component. You cannot use this like stored resources like this. Okay, so because this resource uh, uh, list is uh, expecting this like uh, mm, this uh, resources. Okay, it is expecting this thing. So what we are going to do here is that uh, after this method is complete we have to use something known as a provide provide also we need to call and then i have to do the return as because we, we now need to pass the props whether we're passing the props from here or not okay i have to remove this thing that is good so we have to provide and then the resources as so you are seeking as resources is this dot stored resources because this resource list is expecting the like this uh, resources it is expecting but we have to provide it we have to provide it why we am providing it because i'm, I'm not calling directly the resource list see i'm calling i'm on select i'm calling the resource list then i'm calling it through the component so that's why this thing is required this provide thing is required very much okay so now also it is not done okay so now it has not become a props now it is something different not not a props so this resource list we have to go it is not a props so what it is okay so it is uh something known as a inject it is something known as a inject okay so i'll save it and now see now it is uh coming now in the main when i'm uh loading so app.js is calling the header and the resource header is of course is like this and the resources and the resources is very important the resources is having a uh, resource list and resource list is something which is shown by default okay but i click on the add resource see this add resource is showing and resources add resource and resources is this this is showing perfectly okay so that is how it is done so this might be a complicated topic but this is how this is done okay so not looking good they are very close and these are not i want to show some different styles so they can know that what is click so what uh, we are going to do here in this uh the resources only we're going to go to this some um, like add click is uh, there here uh, i want to pass the mode also because in the base button we can pass the mode also as you remember the flat mode we can pass so i will bind that mode equal to i will write it as tore stored res button mode and uh, the other one will be at mode equal to add res button mode okay address button right? stored button mode and that's button mode. this is something which we are going to create now here we have another thing like uh, the provide and all we have another thing known as computed so completed is something computed okay these are all viewed thing computed is uh, what what is computed so like this uh uh stored button mode i am going so this will directly call a function computed means that much this will directly call a function so a stored rest button mode and then return this dot selected tab triple equal double equal to or triple equal to javascript thing is equal to r e s o u r c resource dash list and uh, then it is null if it is just like this it is null or else it is flat okay like this similar to this let me copy this again comma and this will be uh, add risk button mode add risk button mode 
this dot selected tab equal to whatever it is there add resource add resource and if it is add resource then it will be null or it is flight okay so like this i will save it see now what is happening whatever is the selected tab so resources is the selected tab right now it is showing this the moment i click this this is showing me this actually this is not the perfect way to do it all these things and uh, there is something known as router but we will not learn that in this basic app maybe in the next step you will learn so there is a router but this is a hack but with this hack also you are learning a lot of things like what is this computer what is this provide what is this methods what is this component data all these things we are learning okay so now coming back to this add resources so the add resources uh, we need to now do this add resources which is uh, right now showing nothing so like this the add resources is showing nothing and uh, we will have a nice uh, form here so let's let us have a form here nice form looking form again i'm not going to write the complete form so okay so let me first delete this thing and then i will uh, have a yeah. i'll have a base card and we'll have this thing soon like uh, so let me remove it because we are going to have this thing soon we don't have it right now so title is there and uh, name type ref okay so let it be there we have using we have our concept of ref also here uh like this concept is similar to react ref so you can have deep access to something through refs okay so text area and all these things are okay and um, like we have uh, at the end we have a base button so we'll have some styles also now so again all of these things you can take at the end so this styles is also there save it so the add resource is showing nice so this nice it is showing and uh, now we will like as i told we are going to use the refs here that is done and uh, okay so i removed that thing so that is okay so at the form i will add the add suv mit so add submit will submit the form like add click is there then we'll have this prevent so in javascript we have a problem when you submit a form uh, it uh, like it refresh the browser which is not a good thing in angular view or react react we do this prevent just by react and javascript prevent is by uh, e dot uh, prevent default but here we have this default thing okay so i'll go here and do a suv mi suv mit da create this is something which we are going to create now and we are using the concept of refs here so now let us go to the crip script and uh, then export default mm, we'll have the inject add resource which i'm going to use it inject add resource and then comma the methods methods as because we have a method what is the method method is called submit data so we have this submit data method then okay so this submit data method is there and uh const and third t i t l e equal to so how refs are used in view i can that this dot dollar ref okay dollar ref uh, this dot uh, uh current dot ref not like react so this dot dollar ref and then this uh title input what is this title input title input is the name of the ref dot value but dot value is similar to what we have in react okay so so second one will be d e s c d e s c input third one will be and third url it is align link input and then what we are going to do this dot add resource this is something which we are going to create uh and third uh, 
title entered description comma entered url so these three things we are doing this this dot add resource which is a inject so this inject is uh, something which will we then this add uh, the resources which is again calling this uh, thing uh, add resource and all so i'm going to go here and do a comma and add uh, e add resource no, no no not like this it is the add resource is so it should be exactly this thing so this add resource add resource and this dot add resource so like this resources uh when we were passing this uh, resources in the resource list we are passing this resource and inject we have done so this is how we inject things okay so this uh, add resource yeah so add resource we have done here and then what will happen like this uh, add resource uh, is actually a method here it is not a method here we are passing this thing passing some arguments to the method the method it will be there okay so here uh, we have some method okay we have this method so comma add resource this method it will take the title comma description comma url it will take and then const new resource equal to i'll make the id is new d a date dot to iso string comma title is title title is title comma description is description comma link is the url which is getting passed and then um, what we need to do here uh, okay so this dot stored resources stored resources is this only stored resources is this dot unship unshipped unshipped is like a push push starts at the pushes at the end unship pushes at the start okay so new resource and then this dot selected tab equal to resource list so the moment i submit it it will go to the resource list okay so i will save it let's see if everything is well done i will go here and angular this plus angular angular dot io add resource yeah so this is then done perfectly okay so this is how we have done so now we will create a base uh, dialog component okay so the base dialog component will show a pop-up like dialog so it will again be a component which will be there at a uh, we can will use a common component kind of a thing which we can use at a lot of places so what i will do i will create a new component called base b i a l o g dot view base dialog dot view and uh yeah, sorry <laughs> something i was searching okay so copy oh sorry some site it is coming so i was going to give something and i will explain what it is there in this uh, file so first thing is that the styles again you can go through the styles and all it is scoped styles and then uh, we have this, uh, this template you can see okay so the div is like um, the div you can click and it will emit close so a div is there and after this there is this uh, dialog is there dialog open and here i have a slot not only one slot i have three slots okay so when we have multiple slots in a 
component like this which is a like which we can use slot means we are going to pass data to it as children so we have not one sort but three slots so but how we will differentiate on it differentiate between them first slot no need to differentiate because one slot is the uh, primary slot okay so you need not need to differentiate about it the next two slot you have to give a name so i've given this header and given this action so one is this h2 and so this is a very customizable uh, customizable component okay so another is a base button of okay. c we are using a component inside it because using another component again i'm emitting something and uh, then i will have a uh, this export default have a uh, props title okay one more thing the props which we give so like typescript we can give the type and all the things also required is false and emits okay emits is a new thing it is like it can emit so again this is a quite similar to what we have in angular okay emit has close okay so i will save it now what will happen now we have to use it somewhere and that's that somewhere is this add resources so we'll use it in the add resources so here i will go and uh, use it sec okay so the base dialog what i am going to use it here is uh, above this base card i am going to use this base dialog because it is a kind of a pop up okay pop up it is there so base dialog i am using on top of it so okay one sec So see this base dialog. Base dialog is uh, wf and inputs uh, is uh, valid. Okay, so that is the title is there. V if if input is valid. Okay, so that we have taken and uh, then a uh, vf is there. Title we have taken. So v if is again a if statement. Again this concept is taken from Angular. So Angular v if v four and all these things. So some as I have told, a lot of concepts are from Angular. Again again this template temple concept is also from Angular. Okay. So v if input is invalid is there, and then title invalid input. Title is invalid input and uh, at close is uh, confirmed like this. Okay. So we are taking this what we are taking we are taking like uh, here uh, title props okay so this title props which will go here and uh, we are also taking this another thing which is like at close at close also we are taking so this emit name whatever it is this close okay so we are taking these two things here and then this uh, inside this base dialog i will written this default okay so default and written this action okay action and do okay type at close is a different thing okay so my bad so this title is one prop and the other prop is this default and action so what is this default default is like this slot which will go inside the action and the another is this actions hash actions hash actions is what hash actions is this one okay and header we are passing like uh, uh, title we are passing like this okay so that is there that is the our simple thing which we have created this base dialog and then i will save it now we have to inject this thing also so i will go it there and uh, we don't have a data here because we have to do a d8 here data like this and then let me have comma here R E T U R and return in puts input is invalid. Input is invalid, which is this V if input is invalid, which is by default it is F A L S E false. By default it is false. Okay, so by default it is false. And uh, one more thing which we are going to do. So this input is invalid and confirm error will also be coming from here so this input is invalid after this entered url we'll have something more we'll have if entered title dot frame people equal to empty string or entered description dot frame equal to empty string or entered url dot trim 
so if i equal to empty string okay so all of this are equal to empty string then what i will do this dot input is invalid equal to two and return okay so if uh, if that even after trim it is empty we are checking that if it is empty so the user cannot enter like empty and click on the add resource it will do this dot inputs is invalid is equal to true so this will be true so this base dialog will be coming up okay so that is the return i have done and uh this is okay so this is all done and then another thing we have to do at close at close at close is confirm error so you're passing this also like close like it will be close emit thing will be close but we have to have this um, uh confirm error as a method also here so after this uh submit data i will go and do this confirm error like this and then here also this dot input is invalid equal to false if you do this thing what will happen that uh pop-up will be closed because the moment i make it false v if is there it will be closed so i will do this thing mm -hmm. okay so these two things are done now the base dialog uh, is again a universal component so it will be coming here so add dot component and base dl dialog comma base dialog okay so like this it is there import this dialog from components this dialog dot view base dialog dot view okay so i will do this thing now uh now what is there like i will go here and uh yeah, i'll do this thing add resource see one input is invalid please check all the inputs and make sure something is there okay so let me do it again and i want to show something here if i inspect it it is like uh okay so see this this thing this thing how uh, how this thing works okay so this base dialog is like uh it is coming from here yeah, like this open okay base dialog dialog is open okay so then this header and all have been shown header is taken and this all the things which are inserted at that place so this section and slot it is there i want to tell section and slot if you see like uh, this is going in the default template and this is going in the in the action okay so this is how this is done so that is something which i wanted to show okay okay is closing it okay so okay is closing it so now everything is done except there is one thing which is remaining like what is the like what happens when i delete this thing so i want to add the delete thing also so let us add the delete thing so for that uh, the resources we have to go first and here i will go to the return and all and then do a comma and do a p e l e p e delete r e s o u r c delete resource this dot remove this dot remove resource i will do this delete resources this dot remove resource i've done okay so now back to here i'll do the remove resource and rest id will be there remove resource and rest id will be this dot remove resource means it will call this this remove resource in the provide and now the remove logic is we have to write the remove logic which is generally very easy const uh, rest index equal to this dot stored resources which is actually hard coded we are not getting it from some api endpoint that is something advanced okay this dot uh, stored resources dot find index and rest is rest dot id equal equal to rest id okay rest id and then this dot stored resources 
dot uh, we are taking uh, we are getting the index getting the index from like we are uh, uh, getting the id whatever id is there and then we are with the find index we're finding the index and then we are doing a splice again a javascript method splice and rest index in the rest index i will remove the first thing okay rest index i'll remove the first thing so this is how it is done okay so then we will get a lot of other reviews we have not done a lot of things okay so the resource uh, we have uh, done okay the resources we have done now we have to go to the resource item because the id we can get it from the item only okay id we can get it from because that is the last thing uh in which we are like uh this clicking this is shown from this okay so there is some error uh it's coming from here so what we are going to do in this mode is like flat and then at the rate click equal to okay so it should be exactly like this at the rate click equal to delete resource and i have the id also so i will pass the id here i'll pass the id that's the reason i'm getting this id here okay that's the reason i'm getting the id here so i'm getting the id here and then I have to do the uh, do the other way okay so i have to do the inject thing okay so inject thing you might be seeing like inject is generally coming like uh, when we then are doing it in the bit opposite direction and all the resources is uh, actually like uh, is uh, calling either the resource list or the add resources and even this is inside the resource list we have the resource item so from there we can inject something directly here so this is like some a big problematic thing in react where we do this thing with method as props like props or context api or something like that but here again it is baked in because this is quite similar to angular angular have also a lot of properties like this okay so props and then i'll do a in check inject and inject and d e l e t e like why to like do it like this because when you type you can do some mistake okay so delete resource i will do and one more thing is there okay so i will also get the id here okay so i will do the id comma like this id i'll do and then the id is coming and one more thing we have to do now that let me close some other things so this resource list we have to pass the id also okay so this is this anyway the id is if you see here we are passing the id also but we are not using the id so i will have to bind the id also id others we are again still getting the error id equal to rest dot id okay rest dot id save it Rest dot id okay now mm, <laughs> expect a return value in the remove resource computed value remove resource i, I know where i have that error remove resource remove resource computed my bad okay so the thing is that this is not a computed value okay what is this this is a method this is not a computed value this is a method my bad okay so i will paste it here this is a method not a computer value from provided it will come here so this is a method now i have this thing okay now let us see like uh crossing our finger uh so angular this is angular tutorials and we have a lot of angular tutorials also add resource this is adding now moment of truth delete 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 since it is not coming from an api we'll get our 
normal users okay so yeah so we have completed this thing vue.js we are just starting up we'll have still some uh, more thing in vue.js so please check out those things if you want to get into vue.js nowadays we are doing a lot of other things also on the channel so do support us by subscribing to the channel we'll soon have some good mobile things also coming so with this i will end this please do like and subscribe to